Hi folks, Exit Rider here. Now, uh, this is a quick video this week on riding 125cc motorbikes on the motorway, all dual, dual carriageway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it today and I'm going to show you what, how I do it and uh, how I think you can be safe on a motorway or a dual carriageway. Now obviously we haven't got the power that these cars have got, but we have got similar power to what the lorries have got. So what we need to do really is to try and find a lorry and match its speed. We're keeping an eye on the mirrors, checking that nobody's going to cut us in. Right, so we're averaging now, as shown 52 on the uh, speedo there. Now as we all know, we've got a 60 limit there at the moment, look, which is ideal for me. So you might think that uh, going on motorways is dangerous on a 125. Um, I would have to disagree with that. It's not very nice, it's not a nice place to be. But I know that, uh, you can see the lorry behind me there. He's kind of keeping me safe. And once these cars in front overtake, I'll have another lorry in front of me. So if I just stay in behind those lorries, then I'm going to be okay. Now what I do have to do, of course, is I do have to keep an eye on lane two, that nobody comes along and, uh, and tries to cut in on me. So position two, or, or the center of the lane, or position three, is where I would like to stay in this case. Again, that lorry's trying to overtake there, but I don't know if he's got enough speed anyway, so. Regarding keeping your distance, yes, of course you need to keep a, a reasonable amount of distance, but what you don't want is keeping enough distance for people to chop in in front of you, because that defeats the object then. just every now and then just glance over your shoulder. I know there's a lorry beside me but I can't see it in my mirrors but if I have a shoulder check there he is. I'm going to lay off the throttle a bit now let him pass. Give him a nod just tell him that his back end has passed me now. Now the reason he is in that lane might be because there is a, 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 a filtered lane system down here. So uh, this lane here is going to be for Bodmin and Oakhampton, but I actually need the Plymouth and Torquay lane. So I'm going to have to start planning now to move over into that lane. So I'm just going to indicate that car is taking it steady. Quick shoulder check and out we go. So that's why that lorry was overtaking me, not because he was in, being impatient or anything else. So again, I can just stay in behind that lorry now. Give it a bit of space and uh, at the same time keep the gap closed so we don't get anybody trying to chop in front of us. And in this lane here just be aware of what's around us. So you never know when people are going to change lanes last minute. Again I'm in position two at the moment, maybe I should come out to position three a bit more just so that lorry knows that I am behind him. Please do note through all of this, I am no uh, instructor or teacher. This is just what I've learned over the years. And uh, so don't take it as solid, your instructor or, you know, teaching professional, shall we say, might have a different view on all this. So do check with what they say. And um, over time and over the years, you'll just find your own safe way of doing things. Again, I've got a, a filter lane here, so I'll just... a quick glance over the shoulder and a look in the mirrors. Check if we're all okay there. Now I'm going to move into the near side lane now. But because I know this road, I will eventually, shortly, need to move into the centre lane. Because again, I need the filter lane to go off towards Plymouth. Again, I'm staying in behind the lorry. We're at a good distance behind the lorry. I'm doing an indicator 63, which is probably more likely going to be 
around 56, 57 I expect on this bike. It's not a very accurate speed. Again, there's a car just chopped in behind me there, as you can see. So I guess he might be turning off in a minute, but again, he's kind of keeping us safe. I'm safe in front of that lorry, there's some cars coming out there, so they should be going in front of the lorry, so I don't have to do any filter. And a quick glance over my left shoulder and in the mirror, just to double check nothing's coming up quickly and I'm going to chop in. Now I need to centre lane now, so I'm going to wait for this blue car to pass. And then I've got loads of room behind me. Indicator now, shoulder check, and out we go. I right, know this is where it gets a little bit hairy. Because in a minute I'm going to lose a lot of speed. This is a, quite a, a dangerous intersection here. We can go to the right up to Plymouth or to the left to Torquay. Oh no, he wants to come out now, so I've got to. Make sure you see me, yeah. You'll see that lorry move out now. So he's up my ass a bit now, but uh, which is a bit uncomfortable. But again, at least I'm moving forward. It's not like he's got enough power to shunt me up the, uh, up the, what's it? So this is the worst part about 125s really, is when you hit a hill. So I'm already dropping speed, I'm in sixth gear. The lorry's just gonna have to wait. Might even get to the point where he overtakes me. But at the moment you just got to hold your own. Don't don't be frightened, don't be scared, just keep keep looking in your mirrors, check everything's okay. And if he needs to overtake, then he will. Because we can't go any faster at the end of the day. And it's rare that you'll find hills this steep. Although the camera isn't showing it, it is a very steep hill here. And you do get a lot of slow moving traffic. So again, we'll just find a point in a second where um, we'll probably find a lorry and uh, just tuck in behind it. Down into fifth gear. Throttle fully open. 9,000 revs. We're doing an indicated 50 miles an hour, so it's actually probably about 45, 50. That lorry's backed off now, only because he's run out of power as well, so. And what we'll do is when we get up to the top of the hill, we'll go down the other side, and again, we'll just stick to the, um, you know, find a lorry, stick in behind it, or maybe even that van. We'll probably be behind that van in a minute. And we'll just stick to, um, behind the van and then uh, we know that, that we're safe again then. Again, keep the gap closed, but not not too close. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there now. There's nothing more to say on that. So um, I hope it's been useful. If you have a 125, if you're a new rider, if you're a learner rider, then um, don't fear dual carriageways. There's, um, as with anything in life, it's, the more you do it, the easier it gets, and the more experience you get. So uh, hopefully that's been useful. As I say, I'm not an instructor, so you know, ask your instructor if you if you have any other questions on it, or maybe you might disagree. You know, I'll be interested in your comments down below. That's just my take on it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope it was useful. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Oh, like and subscribe of course. Bye.